It's Danny, the sawmill dog. Danny, Danny. Oh, he's like, I don't do TV. All right, so uh, I milled through the other can. My wife came out and lit me up about a wavy cut. I want to show you something. So how do I think it's cutting right now? Um, I think it's cutting good. Uh, the clunking in the clutch did come back a little bit. Um, but it's not perfect. And the reason that it's not perfect is that I'm feeding too fast. So if you look at, if you can see this stack right here, you can see some of the gaps where I did get some waves. And if you look down the bottom, down there in those bottom like four, there's like zero waves and zero gaps. Uh, and then if you come over here, and you look at this whole outside stack right here, now, there's some shadow lines, but there are like zero gaps in this. This is, uh, I think, uh, 20 boards. Well, it was 20. I might have taken a couple off the top, but it's like 20 boards high. There are like no gaps. There's no waves in the sides. Um, I did have, I can see it from here, the third board down. If you see... I don't know if you can see the third board down has some waves in the side. I'm actually going to take that off and throw it in with this bundle. So what I had was when I cut the second cant down the side of the, this was when the band was really starting to mess up a little bit or starting to mess up. I kind of got a wavy cut. Hopefully this shows up. But uh, there is a wave in the cut down there. Actually, several waves in the cut down this line. Uh, I measured it, and the waves are above six inches. So what I'm going to do is when I edge off these two right here, I'm going to leave those on there, come down, for my second, uh, I'm going to edge them off at like 12 and an eighth. That's going to give me one by fours on the top and going to true up the top edge. I put the worst edge up on all of them. I'm going to come down to 12 and an eighth, edge it off. That's going to give me one by fours. Then I'm going to come down to just less than six, a shade less than six and make a real slow skim cut all the way across and true all those boards on the bottom. Um, I am going to pause you guys one second because I want to grab that one out of the pile that I didn't see. All right, so I get them all on here. Like I said, I'm going to come down to like 12 and an eighth here. Take, uh, we'll see how high they are first because maybe I can take a skim cut off the top and then get a real nice one by. And, and all these uh, casualties here are all casualties of the old band. Um, I'm going to come down, try and take a skim cut. I think these are 16 and, and a little bit. Try to get a nice flat cut, then come down four inches to 12 and an eighth. Take a nice slow pass to get nice straight six inch boards. And then come down to six and make a slow pass and skim this whole bundle. Uh, just less than six, like six and less you know a little more than 15 16 just less make a real slow skim take off all the little waves off of these and um then i'm going to edge off the rest of the pile so let's do that first i got to kind of keep an eye on danny while we're doing it but this is what we're going with. So we're going to come up to 16 and we kind of need to be at 16 and a quarter, really. Hopefully that hits. Uh, it might miss, but that's where 
16 and a quarter would be perfect. If this will hit, this will be perfect. And it misses. So we're going to come down until we touch. So we're going to get... Sixteen. It's just hitting. I'm gonna make a real slow pass at sixteen. See if I can clean up the top. took the waves out of it. Now we're going to come down to 12 and an eighth. Maybe just less than 12 and an eighth. We're going to take some uh, one by fours out of it. Take a look at those. Just get this out of the way. <laughs> Danny's laying over on the log stacks over there. So we're going to take a look at these. Yeah, these are nice and straight. I'm going to keep these, uh, I'm going to keep these somewhere. Just throw them on the ground over here. I'll deal with them after. So it did get a lot of the wave out of them. Um, let's look down this. Yeah, it's pretty nice and flat. So now we're going to do, we're going to come down to just less than 16. Like half a blade curve. Half a blade curve less than 16. And we're going to make a pass and skim this whole bunk. And that's going to give us... It's going to true these up, and it's going to cut these at six and six. Need a little more width on my uh, adjustable blade guide. You guys have a better view. I'm not sure. Hopefully, you'll be able to hear the feed right here. <coughs> Come down to six, just like half a red line under six. With that, you will see if my uh, adjustable button out is not clear. My adjustable blade guide out just a little bit. And we are going to make a painfully slow pass across this. See if that cleans up the tops of everything. I can see that it's working. I can see that it's taking the eye squash off of everything. Thick. 
one of those came off kind of quick. I think, think, think that that thick one, oh yeah, I can see it. This one and these were from the yesterday. This one and this one, these two are a little bit thick. I might trim them to inch later. How am I going to, where am I going to put them so I'm not walking on them? You get this one out of the way. This one's good. Yeah, so if you, I don't know if you can, if you'll be able to see down this and how well that trued those up. But it took most of the waves out of everything. It's, they came out nice and straight. So that worked. All it did was take the high spots off. Um, what am I going to do here? I'm going to put these over here for a second. Yep. Take all the good ones off. Check them out as I go, just like a sample. Oh, yeah, they're beautiful. Yeah, it did a great job. That was just the waves from the other day when the band went nuts on us. My wife came out, and she was watching the, the end of the earlier video, and she's like, oh, my God, that's cutting so wavy. I'm like, no, it's not cutting so wavy. And I'll admit my feed rate was a little fast. And I did get I did get some waves in what I was cutting. When I took my feed rate back down, Danny. Uh it, there you are. Hi bud. It's okay. You're good. Uh really smoothed it right out I'm kind of learning my way through these turbo sevens there's a lot of knots so you know I'll show you what we're dealing with there's a lot of knots and undulations in these so if you look at this one board if I give you a, an eye view down on it, you know, there's a lot of knots and a lot of grain changes and so on and so forth. So these are kind of hard boards to mill flat. And what I found with the Turbo 7s is I kind of thought they like to run hard and fast, but what I found out was that they will kind of go wavy if you go too fast now, these still do have a couple of waves in them but they're but they're way better than they were you know way good enough for fence boards jesus i keep trying to get this board out of my way it just keeps coming back You know, if I put the wavy spots against each other, you can really see it. But she says she built her house, so rough sawn lumber off a sawmill. She'd have to, if she really built her house, and we'll find out pretty quick in her comments. She says they're not S4S, and I'm going to call bullshit on building her house yeah these are there's another thick one right there there oh this is the other thing
actually let's just uh let's mill these two off right now at one inch let's see which is the we want the flattest side down okay that's the flattest side we're going to mill these two off at one inch just get them done so the flattest side I gotta come up with a place to put my PV so we're tight yep so we're gonna get our these two dog down we're gonna make a pass at one inch Nice slow pass at one inch, get these down to one inch. This is probably before I adjusted my scale. As you guys saw, I had to adjust my scale. I'm come down to one. This should take a skim cut off these two. There's one thing I've learned in my life. I've learned to beware of people that I know are going to complain. That's how good that mill, you see that perfect quarter off. These all end up putting on top of uh, I'll end up putting these on top of these bunks to keep the sun off them this week or the next couple of days. Just double check that we got to an inch. Yeah, it's perfect one inch. So that solves 90% of those wave problems. And what we're going to do now is going to edge off the rest of that pile and I can tell you that just from what I just heard, it sounded like like the band was almost borderline kind of slip that I'm going to have to tighten up that belt a little bit. And the other thing that I learned, hopefully some of you that were watching earlier are watching now, the other thing that I think I've learned is that the clutch binding and banging into gear seems like it's heat related because it hasn't done it yet because it's cool so it seems like a heat related thing with the clutch with the banging out and i found out that i can feather into it and minimize it but it is still what it is so you can see hopefully that wave right right there you can see it as lumber oh yeah you can see it right there as that way at that as that lumber stacked up where it came out of that exact knot you can see the knot running through and then and you can see it 
hopefully you can see it um right under that knot right there there was a big wave and then then as i slowed my feed rate it got went back to cutting really flat and then if you look over here on this side this whole side cut really flat so that was a feet more of a feed rate thing than anything else so what i'm going to do is uh i'm going to pause you guys as i get some more set up here to uh edge off and neaten up my stacks uh, you can see my stacks are all over the place here uh neaten up my stacks and uh get ready to mill some more be and i'll pause you guys until that happens all right so had a customer come out joel and uh, pick up a, a slab for himself and buy a big elm cookie over here. Um, and now I'm back at it. So I'm going to edge these off. I need my tape measure. Kind of discombobulated because I got stuff lying all over the place now because I had to trim this slab down to fit in this truck. So... Yeah, that stinks. So this one on the outside, I can't get two out of. But what I can do is I can come down. What I typically do is I'll edge them in pieces. But when it's like this, this one should have been on the back. Because it's got a flat spot all the way across it. I'm going to see how wide that is. Just to make sure I'm not going to screw myself. It's, uh, it's like 14. So I will get two out of that one. What's this next one here? Ooh. Ooh. So typically what I'll do is I'll edge off and with the taller ones, if they don't fit in the batch, as soon as I clean up the entire top, I'll pull it, flip that one over so then I can't hurt it. Um, let's see how this goes. I'm going to come up, uh, I think the two in the front here, how long is this one? So this one's eight feet right here. I don't think I have 12 inches wide there. Man, I tell you though, it's 11. It's close. It's really close. I think I'm going to come down or come up. So it's like 16. I'm going to cut it at 14 and 7 eighths. And I'll get some stickers out of it. I'm going to cut it at 14, 7 eighths first. Let's see how it goes. This is where like the more experienced uh, Sawyer people are way better at this than me. Or they just, it's one of the two, or they just don't care. And they just know it the way it is. Huh. Just close down. I almost pushed that through my guides again.
I think what I could do right now is flip this one and this one, I think, over. See if I can get two, two, and two. If I get six out of this, it'd be great. It's going to be close. I'm either going to get one good clean one out of here or two or get one with Wayne. Wow. I'm going to flip this one too. It kind of stinks. Flip all three of them. Yeah, I think so. I think so. It's going to be close. I'll see if I have to edge off the other two after. We'll see what they look like after I'm done. So what I want to do now is I want to come down to, or if I can get any one-inch stuff out of it, I will. But I want to come down to 12 and an eighth, edge it, drop down to six, cut it. The problem with if I drop down to six is the other ones, I'm still going to get at least one out of the other ones. So you can see how clean 12 and an eighth does kind of lost right now in my head so 12 and 5 eighths I just come down at 12 and a, 12 and an 8 there's that bang See how much that cleans everything up. It's not bad. There's just a teeny bit of weight on it. So I think I could just come down to six right now and rip it right off and we're pretty close. Just take a six off it and I uh, end up with six of them. better than wasting them all. You know, it's... You're going to run into one of two type of types of people. Either she's going to complain about everything, or... Everything is going to be fine. One of the two. Like where this gets. The Wayne's not bad on this. Till the very end. That's past eight feet. So all this Wayne right here is all gone. So it's only these couple little dinky spots. I think that's okay. And like I said, they're just fence boards. So... There's only a teeny little bit of weight on this one, and it's most of it's, I don't know, eight feet. Let's go ahead and do that. So this section's gone. So it's just one little dinky piece of weight. Other than that, it's clean. And if 
she's going to complain, she's going to complain. Because I think that customers fall into those couple of categories that they're either, um, they're one way or another. Either they're completely unrealistic or they're completely agreeable and there's very, very little in between. You know, she said that she built her own house was the term that she used to me. Well, if that's true, she should understand what um, sawmill roughs on lumber is when she's paying a dollar a board foot plus she's getting it delivered then she should understand what roughs on lumber is I will give her some extra boards Jesus the jacket cuts is where I see all the waves and the where it's wet and wormholey and everything else. So I'm just gonna cut these three last ones here. This is only gonna be a single. Has a bunch of waves in it too. And the, really, the question is whether you try to make, this is 12, 12, this one's going to be 2, 12. Yeah, I don't want to mess with this one. Well, I can throw it on there. It's just going to get flipped over when we clean up the front. The other ones are going to be singles. Yeah, this is a single too. And, uh, how this is going to work, I think. Whoa. Is that we want to get. As soon as this this one's cleaned up, this one's going to get flipped over. So I want this one on the back, the other one on the. How do I want to do this? I want that other one on the front. Maybe I should just put this like this. And put this one. <laughs> on the front front. Of course, that's going to screw me when I have to flip that middle one over. You know, most of the sawyers out there be like, oh, I can't believe this guy. I would just, I would just cut one out of each. Yeah, well, that's great if you don't have to worry about trying to maximize your logs. Or if you're cutting for somebody else, you don't really care. Oh my god. Yep. 
the center one's off the bunk down here. Normally do not have this hard a time with these. This is a pain in the ass with these. So what I need to do is I need to do the old uh, flip them over when they clean up method. So this, yeah, it's going to screw me either way. This top one needs to be cleaned up. As soon as the top's cleaned up, it needs to get flipped over. Then as they clean up, I can take them off. I can flip them over. <coughs> wow. That's just something real. One of the, oh, I see. Yeah, that one's. <sighs> this one's so uneven. I should have just cut it by itself. This one's so uneven that it's not on the, it's not on the uh, log stop in the back. I'm going to cut it off right now, just if it'll stay there. <coughs> and then flip it over, and then we should be good. So somewhere around 16 high. Just cut it off at 16. Hopefully that works. Jesus, what a pain in the ass. I'd rather set them down and chalk a line and do it with a friggin' circular saw. I just want to be done for today. get for trying to maximize them so the thing about dropping them down is that I know I'm never going below six so as long as you flip them over when they're clean on the top you're never screwing yourself so this is gonna come like this these back ones never ever flip them over in or you'll get stuck under the other ones now this is got a complete back flat backside. This one can go back up like that. This one can go back up like that. Now I'm trying to get this one flat on the top because it can give me two. The middle one will just happen as it happens. So this number, all, of course, has to be above 12. It's, let's say, 13 and a half. 13 and a half. I think I'll just cut it at 13 and a half. Can't hurt anything.
So what I'm saying is This is not going to work with these three. So what I'm saying is if you get a flat side like I have on this back one, I'm not screwing myself by coming six inches up. But the middle one right now, I am because it's not cleaned up. This one's going to come off. Because this one is a six and a six. And I can almost take it. Oh, I didn't clean up the other side yet. I can do them once I get that other one cleaned up. Let me get this one. Get my freaking locks. Dogs out of the way here. This one here. Oh, this one could be almost be a two, two, huh? Oh, it's really close. It's not going to be good, but it's really close. No, it's not good. It's going to be a six. Is there any weight on the bottom? Nope. Okay, so I want to just cut these two. Ah, oh, sucks. <laughs> Unbelievable. Just want to cut these two till this top one cleans up. And then flip that one and cut it off at six inches and we're good. This one's going to be a double, so it's not good. take it off at 10. I'm losing stickers if I do that. So let's see where my stickers are. So I'm at 13 and 5 eighths. So I want to come down to 12 and three eighths, no, 12 and a half. Make a cut there, I get some stickers. down to 11 and 3 eighths. Get some more stickers. Come down to eleven and three eighths, ten and a quarter.
sure I got six year or seven there. Now, if I flip those two, <laughs> if I flip that one over, how much do I have there? I can take another inch out of it first. Let's take another inch out of it. Now, ten and ten and a quarter come down to nine and eight. More stickers. Now, I'm going to flip that middle one over and put this one in there and take it off at 12 and an eighth and then six, and I get all my boards. I'm flip this one over. There is no teeny little piece of Wayne. Yeah, that looks fine. This one. Nope. This one up. From here. Now I can just come down to 12 and an eighth, take this top off, then go down to six, cut it, and I've got one, two, three, four sixes. Go to 12 and an eighth. down to six. Myself like a one by three there. You know, I'm pretty in awe of the guys that just do this like they're walking through a party. This is how, though, you maximize the log. All I have over there is. I didn't lose anything out of this log. Everything was maximized. I got as many one by sixes as I possibly could. And then we'll do some atom ups here and we'll figure out where we are. Oh, this one. Because this one's got a big crack in it. Gosh darn it. Oh, God. You know, son of a bitch, all that work for fucking nothing.
Let's get some cool boost aim ones. I don't know if I can even give her this one. I'll just keep it out here for now. So where are we at? Let's see where we're at. We got there's 80 here. These are stacks of 20. So that's 80. This one's one. Actually, let's make it that one a stack of 20. Hi, right, Danny. Make sure one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. And then let's make this one a stack of twenty. Definitely a couple of wavy ones from yesterday when that shit was screwing up. Two, three, four, five, six. There's 120. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 130, 132. And kind of a crap one. So we're at 132. We need 48 more. So we're at 132. We need 48 more. Now, if I cut one big log, if I pick the big log, I would get all of them out of that. I gotta, I'm gonna have to probably give her at least, let's just say, whatever the number of stacks I uh, that I end up with, I'm gonna give her one extra per stack. Um, so if I end up with six stacks, I'll give her six extra boards, just to make sure that she doesn't complain. But um, if I pick a big log, I'll be done. What do I have for choices? Uh, I say it was uh, it's 120, 30, 132. So I need 48. Um, if I cut that one down to eight to eight foot six, I don't think I would get 48 out of that. You got the big ass gnarly one in the back back there. There could be 40 in that. What would piss me off is if I had to cut that log because it's a pain in the ass and I didn't get 40 out of it. Or I cut two small ones. Uh, or I try to find a 16 plus footer and cut it in half. Look how long this log is right here. I could pull these all out of here. See, I've got black walnut in the front. I could pull these all out of here and cut all these little ones in the back. If I cut two decent sized ones, 12, 13, 14, 15, of course, of course it's 15, 7. You know, that's just the story of my life. If I cut two decent sized small ones, I'd probably have enough. Just have to move all the shit out of the way to do it. Or I 
or I take a 16 footer off the top of that stack and I cut it in half 16 plus footer probably that one on top right there if I cut that in half it's over 16 and I mill both those logs I probably have enough Let's see what the uh, diameter is on that. So it's 16 at 70 percent is uh, 14. No, it's not 14. Say is uh. Six times so forty-two. Forty-two. So ten is seven. Twelve is like nine point six. Sixteen times seven is seventy and. 70 and 42 is 10, 11, 11.2, 11 11.2, 11 both ways, 11.2, so you can't get doubles out of it, and you end up getting... Like nine and nine plus the jacket cuts. So it gets me over 20 in each one if I cut this one in half. Or I take a big ass crooked short one like that one and cut that one. How long is this one? This is eight feet. This might be, oh, it's going to be just short. I won't get 40 out of it though. No, look at that. Seven foot 11. Unbelievable. You got that huge one under there. It's over eight feet. What the hell's up with that one? It's big, got a big crack off the end. That might be the candidate. I'll show you guys in a second, but. Under that one, behind this one, is a monster that's got the end blown off it. Wow. Yeah, that's a big one. It's like 20, almost 30 inches. And I think it's, God, it's crap around my feet. Oh, God, it's got all kinds of shit on it. See this big crack in it right here, but it's not eight feet to that part of the crack right there. I just want to do this in the least amount of pain that I have to. I think it's this one cutting it in half. Or if this one right here was 16 feet, did I measure this one? Did I measure it? No, I think I did. I think it's short. It's like 15, 11 or something like that. This one would be perfect if it was 16 feet plus. Yeah, 15, 7. No good way about it. Either I cut multiple logs or... Either I cut multiple logs, so I could just see what I get out of that one, and see what I get out of that one, and I'll still probably have to cut a third log, but at least I could pick a small one. So I think that might be the way to go, just mill that one out, see what the length is on this one. Hopefully it's, it's not going to be a whole lot in this one. Uh, figures it's seven to the bend, right? So it's nine feet. 
It's not going to be a whole lot in that one. It used to be a waste. It's not going to be good for anything else, though. And I mill this one and then see where I am. It'd be one small log. Yeah, this one's almost 10. So I could take some of the short, the small end off this one, just mill these two. Just mill these two and then mill a small log. Something that's close to eight feet. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Since this one's so spindly and it's got that big crook in it. I mean, I don't know how many I'll get out of it, but it's not good for anything else. So I think I just mill that one and that one, and then I can just pick a small log to finish it up. It looks like that's the way to go. At least I got no trouble turning them and turning them and everything else. If I just mill that one and that one, it'll get me kind of in the ballpark, and then I can pick a small log to finish it up. So that's it on a Sunday. Uh, that's the stack. We're getting there. I don't want to go more than four feet wide on this stack. I want to be able to pick the whole stack. So right now I'm at, I'm at 44. So this is kind of like the max width. And I'll just have to fill it out. It's 20, 40, 60, 80, 120, and then 32. No. 120, uh, 12, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, so I'm at 1, 32. And I need minimum 180. So I need 48 more. Which on those big logs, that's what I'm getting. I'm getting 40 out of the big logs. Two cans, 20, a can, uh, 14, 20, no, I'm not getting quite 40, I, I'm wrong, but that one, that one, and maybe even that second, that front one's an elm right there, but that second one, I just kind of hate to waste like a 12-footer, I have to go out and find an 8-footer, or a 16-footer and cut it in half, like that one right there, that would be a good candidate. <laughs> and that other one's just short. Yeah, so <laughs> sorry to get all fragmented on you guys, but that's how my brain's working right now. I'm just kind of in a mess. So I'm going to um, take the band off, clean up all my tools, and uh, Put the mill of the bed for now. I won't cover it. Uh, I'll be milling tomorrow. I don't think it's supposed to rain tomorrow. You know, I do have that big, huge monster sitting on top of that ash up there. It's like 20 foot long. The ash is, is 17. Things like 20 foot long. I could blow that one in half and cut that one in. Cut that one up. That would be a good candidate. It's pretty straight. I bet I'd get 40 out of that one. Hmm. I'll think about it in the morning over my morning coffee. So, um, I think we got most of the issues worked out with the mill. We got the new belts on. We still have two belts that we could use if we had to. Seems to be milling better. Uh, I don't know. If you look down the edges of those top ones, down the edges this way, I mean, it's, mill it's milling nice and flat. All the waves that I see now came off the previous band. Like if you look at, uh, I don't know if you can see the waves in those two. They're not big waves, the teeny waves, but. Overall, as you look across the stack, there's, you know, for 20 high, it's pretty uniform height-wise. So it's cutting, you know, even eyeballing the numbers, it's cutting pretty good. So I don't know. That's where we're at. 
and uh, I think I'm just going to put it to bed and call it a day. That's what it looks like to me. If you guys have any questions, hit me up. Then, um, yeah, I'm going to get putting it away so I can have some sort of Sunday off. You know, when you work for yourself, there's sometimes you have a day off in the middle of the week and you got to work all weekend. Weekends mean nothing. You know, it's when can I get stuff done is more the thing. All right, peace. Pirate Solutions, out of here.